I'm Mars Faye and I'm an artist, musician, general creative from South London. I'm 18 years old. I literally make music in my room using GarageBand and a £60 microphone from Amazon. As you know, we're on lockdown. I made a music video that was very simple. I used what I could because obviously we weren't allowed to meet people. I couldn't f actually film a music video in person. So instead, I just used the tools that I had, which was my phone, the videos on my phone. So the song that I just played was Sunsets and Beaches. I'm going to show you how I made the music video, what techniques I used. So I hope you guys learn a lot and enjoy this video. So the main software that I used was iMovie. So if you open up iMovie, I created a new movie. And as you can see, I've got the music video here, the basic outline of it. And I took different videos that I had on my camera roll and I literally created a collection of the videos I had that I'd made with my friends over the past two years and put them together to make a nice aesthetic video. I also used um, aesthetic videos on YouTube. Completely naked, you and me. Just writing aesthetic edits as I am now and there are so many that anybody can use so some of these videos you will see them in my music video so I downloaded this YouTube video like you can download any aesthetic edits you want I use the YouTube downloader mp3 gun um, it's one that we used at my college as well so I know that it's reliable and it's really good so then once I'd got the clips I went into iMovie put my clips all together that I like into a little sequence of videos a really good tip to make sure that um the flow of the video goes along with the flow of the song is making sure that you change the image on the beat so, so as you can see it will always change on the beat changes the way you move images into from your camera roll into iMovie is just you press plus here go to moments Click on any moment you want to add, press the add sign and it will add it in to your sequence. Then, to control the different transitions, so as you can see with my transitions, it's just clean cut transitions. However, you can also choose to do ones that fade into each other. For example, I can just go here and go dissolve. You can also do ones like fade, wipe, slide, whatever is your preference that is fine to be able to split your videos apart you click onto it you press split and this allows you to split the video into different sections you can then move it along move it across to alter the length so to add the finishing touches after i joined all of the videos together is i wanted to make it have a bit of a different color to it so i wanted to add a warm color so you go to the settings up here and you can choose any you can choose black and white you can use blast and the one i chose was vintage so my video was vintage throughout so it has this warm color to it make sure all your videos look somewhat professional in a way so that's what i firstly did using imovie just joined up all my videos put an effect on it made sure the transitions were on the beat and literally it's as simple as that then i downloaded this so the way you download it you go done you finish click on the upload 
um, icon down here and press export video or you can press save video and it will save it to your camera roll. Then to add the finishing touches such as the old school effects that I put onto it, I used my laptop for that. After I put all the videos together on iMovie, added the effect that I wanted, made sure all my transitions were on the beat, I downloaded the song and put it onto Premiere Pro. Now Premiere Pro is a software, you do get a 14 day free trial, which is what I actually used for this. And then um, it from then it's 20 pounds a month, but I would say it is a good software, it is quite confusing. I would suggest Final Cut Pro more. I think it's a better software, it's much more accessible. However, this is what I had and this is what I used. So when I got into Premiere Pro, I went into my Finder documents and I dragged my video in to these sections here. So now that I have my piece here, as you can see, so the first thing that I did is I wanted to make sure that all of my videos had the same border. As you can see, this one is square, whereas this one is rectangle. So to do that, I clicked on the track, clicked on to editing, went to effect controls. Here is a um, downward arrow with the opacity link and you want to click the square and when once you click the square you are able to move the border wherever you would like it so i'm gonna make all the borders the same throughout the video so i'll make this square however much you want to press enter now as you can see every single video that will come up is all in the square border Second of all, I would like my image to be right in the center. So I'm going to move the scale as you can see, which is also on the effects control panel. It's the second one down. Change the scale to where I'd like it to be. And I wanted it to be a square within the middle of the screen. So I can move the position left and right as well. So I'll put it right in the middle here. Now... I wanted to add an old school effect onto it. So then I, w I go to Finder and I already have um, a VHS bad tracking overlay downloaded. You can literally go to YouTube, type in VHS overlay and you can find loads of different videos that have an old school background just like this. Download it using MP3 Gone as I showed you before. Just put the link in. Copy and paste the link into here and download it and everything will be good. My one, I used um, a VHS bad tracking overlay. Put it above, I dragged it above onto my video. Dropped it onto the video. Get rid of the noise on it. To unlink the audio from the visuals, you do Command L. Then you're able to delete the audio audio without deleting the visuals so then i put this on top overlaying it it doesn't go throughout the whole song so i'll copy it over by simply pressing options and dragging option on the keyboard which is next to control and dragging it across make it making sure it's exactly the same length as what my video is firstly you're going to need to ensure that the vhs tracking is the same size as your video as you can see i can see my video here i'm going to put it to the same scale so it's completely covering it so firstly i'm going to scale it up to be the whole screen you're going to go to blend mode under opacity and you are going to click onto screen now as you can see both will be showing Lastly, what I did is I just wanted to make the visual have more of a kind of like faded effect looking like it's from a TV that's a bit tinted. So I went to effects, typed in colour and went down to colour balance RG, RGB under image control. To drag an effect, you just click onto it, drag it onto the image you want the effect to be onto. Then go to editing while still selected on the same image 
and you want to go down and as you can see now we have color rgb right here to increase the reds look as you can see that will increase the reds this will decrease it make it more making it more green etc so i'll put the red up to 200 here maybe put the green down a bit to 68 instead of 100 and then have the red on 83 it's literally preference whatever you feel looks best for the video you're trying to make and the color has become more red too just as i wanted it as the song's called sunsets and beaches i wanted it to have a sunset tint to it to just finish off the song Come and stay with me, fly you away with me Live a fantasy, just you and me You'll be my queen Dive into our dreams, escape reality A few extra tips regarding Premiere Pro This tool here, the razor tool As you can see, you click on it and you're able to cut your video Anywhere you'd like Then click on the arrow and you can move it across so then this becomes empty here nothing will be playing here as i've just cut it then at the end of my video i wanted to be able to put my name to be able to put words onto your video you need to go to file new legacy title click onto legacy title press ok it brings up this area where you can type anything so what i wrote was mars Fay. Right now it's in 1942 report font. I wanted it to be in VCR OCD. Make sure it's in the middle. So here you have a line and center and simply you click onto there and there and it puts it right into the middle. As you can see, you can change the size, you can change the height, width, X position, Y position, font size, everything. You can change the color with all of these effects controls here you go down in your library which is always on the left hand side of the page and i clicked onto it and i dragged it onto my video put it at the very end of the video so that when it went out it went straight to mars Fade. so then to finish off i went file export media click onto this it takes you to a media encoder and all you have to do is press enter on your laptop and you'll see it starting to download in this encoding area and then it will be saved to your laptop. Some extra tips I would give you about planning the music video in the first place is definitely, definitely writing out different ideas about what you're trying to, what vibe you're trying to create firstly, how you want the visuals to connect with your lyrics and also how you would like your image to be shown to the world so how you want people to perceive your image as an artist if you're making a music video where you go out and you shoot it's very important to pick the um locations that you are going to use angles you're going to use the levels you want to be on as an artist lighting you need to consider plan out the colors you want to use these are all things that you should create a mind map of so guys that is how i made my music video on lockdown i hope you guys are successful on your journey to making the best music videos you possibly can you keep smiling.